Hello human beings, before I start this video, I just wanted to tell you a couple things. First, I started this video in fall of 2019, so that's three years ago, almost, and so there are gonna be some things that I just like forgot to film or didn't film because either like I forgot to film it, obviously, or I just didn't have a camera on me, um, and I really wish I would have filmed some of these things because I've missed out on some things so I'm gonna have to explain, but that's okay because I'm alright with that. And second thing is the video is going to be super chaotic because a lot has changed since then. Like in fall of 2019, we were like, okay, we're going to go to this one event. And then the event got canceled because 2020 and COVID happened. And so we're like, okay, we can't go to this. So I guess we'll just kind of keep working on the dress here and there. But like, it was like months in between days that we would work on it. And then like 2021 was like, kind of like, are we going to go? But then we like, didn't. And then 2022, we're like, okay, there's like a fair, like a renaissance fair that we can go to that we're going to go to. And that's in September. And so we like, beginning of August, we're like, okay, we really got to start working on this now. And I realized like, oh my gosh, I'm looking back at all the footage. Like I don't have a lot of things that like, I really wish I would have had. So it's all going to be a bit chaotic just because we're jumping between this and that. And like, I don't have a lot of footage of things. So there's going to be like... Uh, like the beginning of the project and then like the finished product of whatever I made and it's gonna be chaotic but that's okay because we live chaos here um anyway I hope you enjoy uh let's get on to the video as they say <laughs> right now I am starting to make the outside of a test wing because we're messing with cellophane and stuff. So yeah, that's what we're doing. So for those of you along with me who don't really know what's going on, I'm starting on the process of making fairy wings for this costume. I realize now that I never really said that I was making a fairy costume, so I'm gonna say it now. I'm making a fairy costume. This clip, I am making the mock-up or first design for testing the cellophane. I'd never messed with cellophane before, so I really needed to just kind of have some test pieces to work with. I'm first making the test wing out of wire and then wrapping it in brown floral tape and white floral tape on the other side to see which one I liked better. I also put a vein in to see how it looked with the cellophane. And more wrapping with floral tape because apparently this is something I'm going to be doing a lot of. Also, look at my hair. It's about the same length as it is now, and it's barely dyed. It looks kind of weird. Ah, uh, see, just like I said, jumping around to and fro things. Anyway, as you can see, I'm using a reference image that I either drew or I found. I cannot for the life of me remember. Anyway, I'm drawing wings on a piece of parchment paper to mold the wire to later, and you will see that. Ah. Uh, well, here I am molding said wire to said drawing. This was a really long process and it was really hard to get the wire to behave. And as you can see, my little sister is helping me out and hold, holding it down while I bend the wire. The wire is a really thick gauge. It was really hard to bend. We then taped down the wire to keep it from moving so that we could draw in the veins and cut those out. A loose, uh, right. Then all of these, you know what, I'd make this one bend this way, this one bend this way. So this one bend that way, this one bend that way. Yeah, or yeah, make them cross over, yeah, like that. As you can see, this is what all of the veins turned out looking like for the bottom half of the wings. I'm placing the wire down on the lines that I drew, therefore measuring the wire and slightly bending it to shape. You then cut your wire, bend the ends to smoothly line up with your outer wing, and then voila! ready to attach to said wing. I'm using a piece of tape to label the veins so that I don't mix them all up because that was really easy to do. 
Not a good feeling. <laughs> yep, I've got them on. Yes, I'm wearing a onesie. Don't judge. Okay, so I have all the veining done. Now I need to grab everything from here and take all of these and put them on the wing. Yay! And then I have to do the other one. <laughs> happened to me. This one was attached there. This one was attached there. This one was attached there. And they all came out. And now they're all attached there. And this one is about to come out. <sighs> I am not happy right now. Not at all. I am now getting the veining of the last wing done. At this point, it's been a while since the last clip, so you'll notice some changes on me. I'm now wrapping all of the wire in floral tape so that you can't see the, the wire. And as you probably guessed, my hair is cut. It's still not really dyed, just in the front where it was originally before I cut it. All right, jumping back to the cellophane. I sprayed both sides with spray adhesive and put the wing frame between the two pieces. Now I am blow drying with heat to shrink the cellophane to the wing. This process was very tedious and a nerve wracking experience. You had to be super careful not to melt it and put a hole through it. This is what I did with the big wings, but I didn't film it because I had to be super careful and I really didn't want to film while I was doing it. Welcome to the sewing room. Um, we have the wings here. So, as you can see, they have the cellophane on them. Uh, some of them are kind of falling apart. Some of them have holes. It's all a little tedious and they're super delicate. So we have little bendy parts here. The wings are going to be like so and then back behind me like this. I'm going to put the two ends of the wire together. So we're going to figure out how that's gonna work out because I have no idea so as I said before I'm putting the two levels of wings together for the shape that I want now I'm clipping them down and together so that I can twist them and attach them together I then do it to the other side I bent them into a U shape with some of the excess wire wrapping it around the other side so that they stay connected wire has been uh, uh, accounted for, I don't know, gathered. Here's what we have for the wings so far. It'll actually be more like this, but currently I'm just trying to get them attached to each other. So I'm going to mess around with all of this wire and see what I can do. Try and get it like between the tank top and the corset. Yeah. Ready that. Yeah, this that is funny. Because it's is... it's right at my shoulder blades where wings would come out. Okay, so that's good. Yeah. 
Uh, now we begin making the dress. Right now we are designing the skirt. For the top, we were originally thinking that we were going to do a point at the bottom. This is what we were planning for the sleeves. Spoilers, not what we did. You know, I've accepted fate. Yeah, you're just going to, uh, yeah. And you're sewed it there first. And then you flip it over and then you sew it down on the top side. Now I am cutting out my waistband. Now, sewing the ends together. Honestly, I think I actually like the gathers more. I think I'm you're being right. Look at this. Oh, I can't wait for you to... Oh. You would not believe the troubles that we went through with this fabric. As you can see, as soon as we sewed it, it got all bunched up and pulled. So we tried to see if we could use the serger. I have to use this for the first time and I'm terrified and I can't record while I'm doing it. Um, I have practice material but here's the real thing. So I'll come back when it's done or we run into a complication. Please let it be done and no complications. That would be great. <laughs> well, things went wrong. Um, we couldn't get it to work, and so now I am sewing it by hand. Me and my, like, terrible stitching job. Hopefully it'll get better. Um, it used to be, like, a lot worse than this. Also, there's just glitter all over me. It's like, you just kind of accept your fate with this fabric. But, like, it's so pretty. <laughs> So, yay, I get to sew, hand sew all of this. Be back when it's done. Now, we are sewing it onto the waistband. I got the skirt on. Yay, this thing has given me so many problems. So, uh, it's all hand sewn, um, except for the lining in here which is all done by machine and it's messy, but what can you do? So, it's done. I will work on the top tomorrow. Hello, welcome to the segment I like to call me talking and sewing because I just realized I haven't been filming um, very much. So, obviously I got the skirt done. Um, now we're working on the top today. Welcome to me and my messy hair. Um, I'm sewing the pattern that we made um, after using another pattern, and then it was kind of confusing. So yeah. the sewing machine still sounds like crap. Um, I don't know why. Something's up with it. Maybe that's why I was having problems. Probably also the fabric. Um. Um, I did the thing again where I forget to record, um, <laughs> but here is the lining that we chose. Um, it fits pretty good with the, the skirt and the top fabric, so it's going to go on the inside of my top, which we're going to cut out soon, which is going to be this amazing fun fabric here, which is awesome. We obviously figured out the pattern for all of it, which is all the white. Then I went ahead and cut out the lining. And now I'm going to cut out the uh, fashion fabric right there. So, yeah. This is terrifying. Oh gosh, I hope you don't mess anything up. 
And here I am, sewing it all together. The sewing machine kept giving me some problems, but it turned out fine. Hello, we're sewing. Good morning. It is currently uh, day four of working on my dress. Uh, mainly the top, to be completely honest. I finished my skirt the first day. Uh, whatever. Now I'm putting on things to finish it so that I can put the, oh, the clasps on. We are getting there. Now sewing that on so that we can test fit. Oh, also between this clip and the next clip, I sewed clasps on. It's just a little bit maybe right there, but I, yeah, I don't think it needs it anywhere. Mm -hmm. Here I am sewing bias tape onto the edge to make it look all pretty. Hello. Welcome back to a, another segment of I forgot to record things. Um, that keeps happening with this dress. Oh my gosh, things are just happening so fast. It's ridiculous. So, I sewed some of the leftover fabric we had, and I'm, we're making straps at the top, um, just because it kept kind of like falling down and like bleh on me. We are now putting these in to keep them up, and then we'll also attach like these like drapey stuff that like the skirt is material is made out of. So, we're doing that. Oh, that's the first time I've done that. My first needle I have ever broken. Wow. Wow, look at that. Jeez. I'm now sewing some boning into the sides of the top. Completely in my outfit. There's a couple things that I'm missing, like jewelry and different shoes and possibly a wig. We're not sure yet, but yeah. It's looking good. I love the wings. Oh my gosh. They're so pretty. So as you can see, I'm not completely done with it quite yet. I still need to add some boning and a couple of hook and eyes, but otherwise I'm done. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you later. Bye!